Hi YouTube, it's Molly and I'm here for my week 50, 56 and 57 uh, update. Um, I guess this is just becoming an every two week thing. Uh, I don't mean it to but it keeps happening and I'm even a couple days late on that so sorry guys. Um, so. My weight's actually from Tuesday, so I weighed in at 199.0, which is a 5.6 pound loss for the two week period, and this is just sliding, there we go, um, a 5.6 pound loss for the two week period, which puts me at a total loss of 161 pounds. Um, I'm thrilled. Like, absolutely thrilled. Not even about the 199, about the 5.6 in two weeks. I'm 13 months out. And I lost 5.6 pounds in two weeks. Thrilled. Um, I am tracking hardcore again little bit of exception um, and, and that's doing good for me um, so in the past two weeks I've moved to Rhode Island um, still kind of unpacking it's kind of a work in progress as I go to work all day and Matt goes to work all day and then we kind of try to scramble to like get in a bike ride or a walk and then make dinner and then unpack and then go to sleep at some time before midnight since I have to be up at 6 a.m. So, um, I don't even remember where I was going with that because I'm exhausted and I want to go to sleep. Unpacking food, food, something with exercise. I don't know. It's been good. Um, we are both tracking like Matt. As I've talked about before, he's tracked on and off like, oh, a day here or a day there um, when he was losing weight after he graduated and had a little bit more than the freshman 15 for more than the four years he was in school. So um, now he's tracking with me on a daily basis and I love it. It's entirely in support of me and I appreciate it and I love it. I, it's nice to have, as much as I love the like couple hundred friends I have there on my fitness pal, um, it's nice at the end of the day to like be able to sit there at dinner and be like, oh look my carb percentage is less than yours and we kind of like play a game with it and and see if we're both hitting our goals and doing what we want to do and it's not even like comparing mine and him it's comparing ourselves to our own goals and supporting each other um you know obviously he's not eating 800 calories a day and I am so um you know we're not comparing each other ourselves to each other but we're helping keep each other on track and that's really good um that being said we're also not always 100% perfect and but it's um it's definitely a planned thing um you know in the past two weeks I can probably count on one hand how many times I've had processed sugar which wasn't necessarily true for you know take a two week period um within the past three months and you know I'd probably be pushing that one hand rule um that being said like yesterday was um Matt and I were together for six months and he took me out to dinner uh i had like a steak tip caesar salad that was nice and low carb but then for dessert um i had been talking about wanting s'mores on a campfire for weeks and he went and bought stuff to make s'mores but then pulled out just enough stuff to make a couple of them and put them in a bag for me and hid the rest and by hid i think he ate them and just didn't tell me um but then, you know, I had a couple of s'mores and, over a fire and it was great and it was wonderful and it was a controlled little bit and 
it was done and it was over with. Um, so it, it's a nice change. I think part of that is also that like with going to a normal schedule, um, I'm eating on a schedule again, which was a big part of why I did really well in the beginning was because I was eating the same times every day. And with going to work now, it's like I eat at seven every morning. I, you know, pack all of my food for all day until 6 p.m. Um, so, you know, whatever I walk into work with is what I'm eating. So in that respect, it's really helping to keep me on track because it's like I just don't let myself take anything that I don't want to consume there because I just don't want to do that to myself. Um, that being said, you know, I'm also saying no to the vending machines and all of the other random crap in the office, which is sometimes hard, but um, as long as I pack good food, I've been doing well with it. And, you know, tracking and have some having Matt to track with is really helping. Um, so that being said, I'm thrilled about the 5.6 pounds in two weeks this far out. It's amazing. Um, let's talk about the 199, uh, Wonderland. I don't, I, I don't even know. I've been like hovering around 210 for like how many months now? Um, you know, I've just felt like I was so close for so long that I stepped on and I was like, 199, oh, you're finally here. And I just, I think I still just don't really believe it because it's just like, how long have I been right above 200 and just not moving? So, um, you know, and also I know that I've been fluctuating a lot lately. Um, within the past two months, three months, it seems like, uh, instead of consistently getting on the scale and, and being the same number, fairly close, it's been much more of a varying, like, four, five, six pound kind of thing, um, you know, within a couple day period, and, and that's unusual for me, I guess, I guess it's the, the new usual, but that's probably the other reason I wasn't really, uh, you know, I was like, okay, 199 tomorrow, you know, I'll be 206. So maybe once I'm into the 180s, I'll believe that I'm in the 100s. But right now I'm just trying not to be like too excited. But I am and I'm going to try to keep myself from going, you know, up over that 200 ever, ever again. But I also know that within the next few weeks, there's a good chance that I will bounce up and down over that threshold a few times. So, um, but I am really excited about that. So, you know, things are going well. Um, biking a lot. Our our 5K this weekend got canceled. So we're not doing that. And I don't know if we're going home for the half marathon. Because that's just like 24 hours of driving for one in one weekend to go home and run a half marathon. And in all honesty, I'm not in the running shape that I wanted to be in for this. Um, that being said, I could walk it, but Matt also injured his foot in the last 5k that we ran and was limping around for a couple weeks and is just kind of at the point right now where he's walking normally. And I don't know if um, walking or jog walking or even just walking the whole thing, 13 miles might be a little too much for that. Um, so between the drive, his foot, and just the cost of gas to go that far, um, just for the half marathon, I'm not sure uh, what the deal is with that. You know, I want to do it. It's a goal I've been working towards, and even if I walk most of it, just finishing 13 miles would be a huge accomplishment. But plans change. I might have to find a different one. Um, just going going home for that, just it's not really ideal so we'll see um I'm already at 10 minutes so I was gonna start rambling about skin but maybe I'll just do a completely separate video sometime when I find this magical thing called time um about skin I know I've had a lot of questions lately um with regards to my skin you know I'm younger 
and there seems to be this incredible general impression that just like I'm magically gonna bounce back to some gorgeous being and that is far from the truth um, you know I can pull the skin on my stomach out a good six eight inches um, and there's still fat under there so it's gonna it's gonna keep coming more um, it, it's not pretty so I don't know I've had some questions it's been bothering me lately that's more of the reason I wanted to talk about just up in the, up until now I haven't really cared I knew it was there but now it's at this point where um, almost on a daily basis I'm seeing drastic changes in the amount of loose skin and the way that it acts and um, just moves around like it it looks and feels different every day it just it feels like it's changing very very rapidly right now and not for the better um, and I think it's just a matter of the fact that it's kind of the like end of the weight loss like I'm at 200 um, I have a wider frame and I'm not gonna be a normal BMI it is what it is point being I'm kind of in the end zone of like weight loss and I think that's why I'm really starting to see skin changes um, when there's really not that much fat left which there is and there isn't but um, you know I think it's a lot easier to see changes now as when I was 360 and uh, it's definitely it's a creature of its own so anyways I'm rambling I want to go to sleep I will do some more videos I promise someday I will get back to making many marvelous videos and you know maybe some people will watch if I stop rambling um, you know that's the other reason I just haven't really done a lot of videos lately as many you know as much as it is for me to keep track of my own journey um, I just haven't been getting the like comments and feedback on my videos lately and it just kind of lets me go by the wayside it's like oh I'm missing it nobody's gonna care um, but for my own personal journey I do need to keep documenting it so I'm here I'm late but it happened so 199 technically was my goal my surgeon asked what my goal was I told him 200 actually I told him right under 200 so um, you know that's what I told myself in the beginning that I would consider myself a success and he agreed that that was a good goal so essentially I've made it to goal but I'm not stopping so more to come um, I hope you all have a great week or two weeks or whatever I see you next um, I'll talk to you all soon hopefully sooner rather than later have a great day guys